I'd like to call the 19th meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for today? Thank you, Mayor. A new year, a new start with infinite possibilities. Thank you. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would the clerk please call the roll for attendance? There are 14 present. Thank you. <coughs> Next item is the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, there are no resignations this evening. And the mayor's appointments, uh, if there's no objections, I'd like to hold off till after the public forum on that item. Then we'll move on to confirmation of mayor's appointments. City attorney. Confirmation of uh, mayor's appointments. Uh, first, uh, the mayor submitting the following appointments for your consideration. All the person Lassard is chair of the Law and Licensing Committee. All the person Wolf, vice chair of the Law and Licensing Committee. All the person Thiel, chair of the Public Protection and Safety Committee. All the persons Lassard and Thiel to the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? I mean, we have to call the roll. Did we do yet? Oh, I'm sorry, is there another appointment? Yes. We can take those together. Mm -hmm. yep. The other one would be submitting the following appointment for your consideration, Rich and Carolyn Miesfeld, to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee to replace the unexpired terms of Alan Barb Keither, ending 425-16. Is that addition okay with the motioner in the second? Yes. yes, it is. Thank you for that. Okay, and then we'll call the roll on that confirmation. Eyes. Thank you. Those mo motions are then, uh, I mean, those appointments are confirmed. Next is uh, item 7.1, an election to fill a vacancy for <coughs> elder person in the third district. This is Daryl Carlson's uh, former position, and this will be for a year and a few months then. I, uh, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. Nominations are open. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I nominate uh, Rosemary Trester. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderman uh, Herman. I'd like to nominate Todd Move for committee of the... No, that's a different election. To next one. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the nominations and cast unanimous ballot for Rosemary Truster. Second. Thank you very much for that motion. Um, can we do this on eyes? All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much, Rosemary. Well, congratulations. I'd like to invite. <laughs> Rosemary, I'd like you to uh, consider coming up and saying a few words about your interest in the city and, and why you pursued this position. Just bend it down. <laughs> Everybody's bigger than me. Um, I've lived in Sheboygan since 1982. My husband was born here. We raised eight of our children here. Um, I love Sheboygan. I'm from New York City. 
uh, when we met and he said, oh, we want to live in Sheboygan, I said, if it's like New York, I don't want to go there. And I've got to tell you, I can't imagine living anyplace else. <laughs> and my love for Sheboygan and the people here are why I wanted to run for this office so that I can serve them better. Thank you very much for those comments and welcome to the City Council. <laughs> Rosemary, then you can uh, take uh, the seat right here in the center and um, you'll be able to follow along with the aldermen, but you won't be able to vote until the next meeting when you're sworn in then. This one? That one. Okay, next item on the agenda is an election for a committee of the whole chairperson, again to replace Alderman Carlson in that role. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, again, I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. Thank you for that notion, uh, motion and support. Nominations are then open. Uh, Alderman Thiel. Yes, I'd like to nominate um, Alderman Heideman, please. Second. We have a, a motion and a second for Alderman Heideman. Are there any other nominations? Alderman Herman. I'd like to nominate Todd Wolf for Committee of the Whole Chairperson. Second. We have a, a nomination and a second for Todd Wolf. Um, Alderman Bellinger? I know that's what I was going to. Okay. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the nominations. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay, the city attorney will hand out ballots and we'll conduct the election. Always remind you, Alderman, but please print your name somewhere so we can read it.
All the results are in. Alderman Wolf, congratulations. Okay, the next item are hearings. Uh, item 2.1 is a hearing to amend the city of Sheboygan's. Wait, do you want to do your the appointment? Okay, do we have any uh, public forum? No. Okay, then I'm sorry, then we need to go to the um, item that we delayed for mayor's appointments. City Attorney? Uh, from the mayor to the honorable members of the Common Council, submitting the following appointment for your confirmation. Rosemary Trester to be considered for appointment to the Law and Licensing Committee uh, to fill an unexpired term uh, ending 4 18 16. Okay, and that will lie over till our next meeting uh, and come up for approval at that time. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think we wanted to suspend the rules <coughs> for this one um, so that she could get appointed to the committee um, and make the next meeting. Uh, so I'd make a motion to suspend the suspend the rules. Second. You can do that if, she, but she probably won't be sworn in as of Tuesday's law and licensing. I'll be sworn. I You'll can be swear her in at the office. Okay. Then you can. Okay. No problem. Okay. We have a, a motion to suspend. Is there a second? I second it. We have a motion and a second to suspend. Um, is there any objection to suspension? Okay. Um, I move, to, move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and second to confirm. Uh, please call the roll for confirmation. Motion passes. Um, under mayor's announcements, um, I'd like to let everybody know that the Department of Transportation has begun to implement our action to charge a wheel fee for uh, the license renewals. And so that has started already with the January refer referrals. That's a little earlier than we had expected. We thought it would start in February. But um, there's some information that people can get frequently asked questions uh, answered on our website. All they have to do is click on the banner ad. And there's some people who live outside the city of Sheboygan who have a Sheboygan mailing address and they're getting these notices as well. And there's a form that they can fill out to have that changed and, uh, and that will exempt them from that fee. Um, Next, I'd like to ask uh, Clerk Sue Richards to give us an update on the candidates for the aldermanic districts uh, for the spring election. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as most of you know, tomorrow is the deadline for receiving access to the spring election ballot. And as of noon today, I just wanted to report who we have in uh, for District 1 for the one-year term. Uh, papers were taken out by Todd Wolf and Dennis Radke. Um, for the two-year term, John Bellinger. For District 2, the one-year term, uh, Tammy Robb took out papers. And for the two-year term, Roman Drawn took out papers. Uh, District 3, we have a vacancy that was just filled by Rosemary. And the two-year term, papers were taken out by Mike Damro. District 4, two-year term, Mary Lynn Donahue took papers out and Donald Tershner. Um, District 5, for a two-year term, uh, Jody Vanderweel dash Bonet <laughs> <laughs> took out papers, and Scott Lewandowski also took out papers. District 6, two-year term, Brian Bitters took out papers. District 7, Susan Lassard took out papers. And District 8, uh, Jim Boren took out papers. Um, many have already returned them, but there are still some out there, and they ha you know you have until five o'clock tomorrow to get them back to our office. Thank you for that wrap up. I appreciate everybody's interest in serving as a candidate and running for alderman for this next term. Um, okay, next we'll go on to those hearings then. 
Item 2.1 is a hearing to amend the City of Sheboygan's future land use map, the Sheboygan Comprehensive Plan to change the land use classification of property located on North 17th Street, parcel <coughs> 624220, from, uh, from employment to multifamily residential classification. Is there anyone who wishes to be heard? There is, is there anyone who wishes to be heard? Is there anyone who wishes to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close. Second. Thank you for that motion and support to close the hearing. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. The second hearing is a hearing to amend the city's zoning map to change the use district classification of property located at 1560 North 17th Street from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class UR 12 Urban Residential Classification. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor, I move to close. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. It includes items 3.1 through 3.5. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of those items on the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nice. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, item 4.1 will be referred to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Um, under resolutions, item 5.1 will be referred to the Finance Committee. <coughs> under reports of committees, item 6.1 is RC by the Law and Licensing Committee, who attended their meeting, voted. Con Additionally, to recommend that the Common Council not renew taxicab license number 0923, which is held by Devante Adams. Alderman Lassard. Thank you. I ask that the, I move that the report of committee be accepted okay. and adopted. Thank you for that um, motion. Is there a second? Second. Devante Thomas. No, can Devante Thomas. Is Devante Thomas in the room? He's not here. He was asked to appear to this committee on two occasions and did not show up either one. So the committee has suggested we deny his license. Okay. Uh, then the uh, is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Who seconded that motion? Thanks. Nice. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred RO number 212 of 1516 by the city clerk submitting various license application recommends that taxi cab driver's license number 0923 be denied based on the fact and findings of the law and licensing committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Um, this is regarding Devante Thomas as well. Right, they could have been taken together. <coughs> they could have been taken together, but you're good oh, to go. Okay. So for the same reasons as stated before, so we, the committee has recommended that the license be denied. Thank you, is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nice. 
14 ayes. Motion passes. Item seven is matters laid over. 7.1 is RO number 230 of 1516 by the City Planning Commission and General Ordinance number 41 of 1516 by Alderman Vanderweel and Drawn amending the city's future land use map in the Sheboygan <coughs> Comprehensive Plan to change the land use classification of property located <coughs> along North 17th Street from employment to multifamily residential classification and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Item 7.2 is RO number 231 of 1516 by the City Planning Commission and RO number 205 of 1516 and General Ordinance number 40 of 1516 by Alderman Vanderweel and Drawn to amend the city's zoning map to change the use district classification of property located at 1560 North 17th Street from Class UI Urban Industrial to Class UR12 Urban Residential Classification and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fourteen ayes. Motion passes. Other matters received after the agenda was posted, City Attorney? Are there any, Sue? I don't have any, but there should be an yeah, RO. First other matter, 8.1, <coughs> submitting a communication from Jeff Radke stating uh, he is upset with the clearing of the streets after the December 28th snowstorm. That will be referred to the Public Works Committee. Uh, 8.2, submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2016 and June 30th, 2017. That'll be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. 8.3 is a resolution authorizing the sale of city-owned property at 1222 Huron Avenue. That'll be referred to the City Planning Commission. Next, we'll move on for a planned closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session of the exemption provided in Section 19851E of the Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale of public property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session related to the SMET housing development project. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, will the clerk please call uh, for a uh, closed session vote? Okay, and I'd just like to let our viewers at home know that uh, the council will not be going back into open session. We will be adjourning in closed session. We'll take a short recess of about five minutes and reconvene.